So this is Bit Commando. Uh, I was answering a question about the Bit Commander on patch storage, and I started patching uh, to sort of see how things would pan out. Uh, and I ended up creating this patch, which I don't think sounds a whole lot like the Bit Commander, um, which is much more square wavy. This is more of like a huge octave fuzz, I think. Um, but it can cop similar territory. Uh, an important facet is that it doesn't use any pitch tracking. So the response is pretty good, although it does use some granular modules for pitching down and there's some uh, inherent delays in that. As you turn the gain down, it does become a little bit more um, square wavy. That's the gain on a fuzz. So there's a fuzz voice, an octave up voice, which uses an old ring mod technique to create an octave up where you multiply a signal against itself. Um, which is an interesting sound. It's not quite an octave up in a pitch shifter sense, uh, but it is a lot like what you would find in an octave fuzz. Um, and then there are two sub voices, one octave down, and uh, two octaves down, which I'm not sure the, the microphone will pick up that well. Um, and there's a gain control. There's also a threshold control for a, a gate. It's, it's a gated fuzz. So if you turn it all the way down, notes will ring out and sustain. Uh, as you push it up, it becomes more staccato. get it up high enough it goes you have to really fight okay enough of that um, so that's pretty similar in structure to the bit commander uh, then I took some liberties, because I like taking liberties. Taking liberties is fun, and you can create patches that do things that other pedals and combinations of pedals don't do. So it has a filter like uh, the, the Bit Commander does, which you can use as a tone control. Uh, I added a resonance control that's somewhat curtailed, uh, but it still offers a pretty wide range of resonance. Then I added an envelope, because why not? Um, so you can get more synthy sounds. And you can also slew the envelope. With this control, which will cause the envelope to swell in more, more slowly. So you can also get these sorts of sounds. Also goes to positive. I'm not going to show that. You can find that out for yourself. Um, then I added an output stage controlled with the left stomp switch. And as you press it, it adjusts uh, a bit crusher and aliaser to essentially, you know, the idea I was going for was uh, how much dust is on your NES cartridge. So when it's white, you've you know, blown blown your you know copy of Super Mario Brothers three out. It's working fine. Uh, yellow is a little bit cruddier. Uh, pink is cruddier still. It's getting angrier, and then red is. And it 
cycles between those. Um, and then finally, because I had a stomp switch left over and a little bit of CPU, I said, hey, why don't we throw in a, what I have described as a weirdness uh, control? Need to increase the rate a little bit. And what this is, is a sort of envelope uh, controlled LFO that modulates the pitch of the granular modules. Now, what happens when you use this is you lose the, the sub octaves because they start getting uh, modulated, uh, but you gain some weirdness. Um, sort of sounds like maybe a broken helicopter. If you take the depth down though, um, which I need to tighten the knob on this control because this is taking a while. Let me entertain you some other way. Uh, I don't have a good one. I, I tried to hum the Metroid theme, but I don't really know it all that well. If you take the depth down really low, though, it does create sort of an interesting movement underneath the, the other uh, voices. And then you can thin that out if you want by, by removing one of the sub octaves or the other. Um, and yeah, that's Pit Commando. Thanks.